In this example, I show you how to quickly convert a PDF to several different image formats using Dynamic PDF Rasterizer for .NET. Start by creating a new c -sharp Core Console application. Click Create a New Project. Now Next. Name the application Rasterizer Simple Example. Click Create and wait for Visual Studio to create the project. Now let's add the CETE Dynamic PDF .rasterizer.net NuGet package. Select Browse, type CETE .dynamic PDF .rasterizer. Be certain you select the NECPU version and not the x64 x60 or excuse me, x86 version. Install it, accept. Okay, add the using statement to use CETE dynamic PDF .rasterizer. Now, as we will reuse both the input and output file paths, let's create two string variables containing the paths. Leave the extension off the output file name as we'll add this extension later. Create a new instance of the PDF Rasterizer class. In the constructor, add the path to PDF file, which is the PDF document we wish to convert. In the rasterizer object instance, we use the draw method to output the image. Let's start with a bitmap for the first example. In the constructor, first specify the output path. Go ahead and add the .bmp for the extension. And then we're going to specify the image format, which in this case is bitmap or BMP. And for the image size, specify 96 dots per inch. Now let's run the program. And let's go to the folder that contains the outputted BMPs. But first, let's look at the document, the original PDF document. Note it has four pages. Now the bitmap file created four images, one for each page of the PDF. Open the second bitmap, then open the fourth bitmap. Of course, Dynamic PDF Rasterizer is not only limited to creating bitmaps from PDF documents. Now the image format class it allows us to easily convert PDFs to several different image formats. For example, we could choose GIF, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF. Now TIFF is a little different as we must specify the TIFF's compression format. Let's just choose JPEG or LZW compression for now. Run the application. and the TIFF files appear in the folder. As you can see, using Dynamic PDF Rasterizer to create images is straightforward. Dynamic PDF Rasterizer also works with PDFs and images as byte arrays, so let's use byte arrays now. Let's update the TIFF example to input a PDF from a byte array. Add using system.io. Create a byte array. Now we're going to read the original file, the original PDF file, into that byte array using file read all bytes. Now we create a new input PDF class and we pass the byte array to the constructor.
Okay, now comment out the PDF rasterizer and the rasterizer.draw method above. Now, create a PDF rasterizer instance and pass the input PDF instance to the constructor. In the previous examples, we printed each PDF page to a separate image, but TIFF images can support multiple images for page, per page. Let's use the draw to multi-page TIFF method rather than the draw method. Specify the output file as TIFF. and the image format as TIFF with LZW. And let's leave the image size as 96 dpi. Run the example. Open output b.tiff. And as you can see, the PDF was converted to a multi-page TIFF. Now let's update the example to output to a byte array rather than to a file. We're going to use the draw to multi-page TIFF method again to convert the TIFF to a byte array this time. So comment out the other, the original line and do byte TIFF bytes equals rasterizer dot draw to multi-page TIFF. So this version of that method is overloaded to output byte, a byte array. Specify the same image format and the same image size. Now in the real world, you'd probably write the byte array to a database or something like that. But for simplicity here, we're just going to write the byte array to a file. So do file, write all bytes, and then output the TIFF. Or excuse me, output the TIFF byte. Now, run the application, and the TIFF was written to a file. Dynamic PDF Rasterizer for .NET is a powerful PDF to image conversion library. Using it, you can convert any PDF file to an image. It's easy to use and has a very efficient object model. Developer licenses are available. You can download a fully functional evaluation version from our website. You can download an example project demonstrating Dynamic PDF Rasterizer's capabilities from our GitHub site at dynamicpdf slash rasterizer net core. Feel free to contact our support staff if you have any questions. I'm James reminding you, when you think PDF, think dynamic PDF. Until next time.